especially with how last episode ended, I gotta see Takamichi go Super Saiyan and stop Mikey and Draken, because I need everyone to just be happy. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Tokyo Revengers Episode 8. This one's called Rechange. No idea what that means. No idea how... This is just getting more and more downhill and downhill, and I just don't know how we're going to be able to turn this around. Like, I just don't know if this is going to be one of those shows with a happy ending, or... <laughs> That's one thing I love about shows like this, is the openness of the possibilities. Like, Shonen... Don't get me wrong, they can be very different. They can break from the standard norms, but you can relatively guess the plot progression on Shonen's, you know, relatively easily. Versus this, I am just taken back by how much I think I can theorize and stuff, but I really can't. I really have no idea what's gonna happen, and I personally love that aspect. Mystery box type? I know it's not really a mystery box, there's not really a certain thing we have to discover and find out at the end but like mystery box animes where it's like you really it's like you really just don't know oh i just love it i really i love it you know i love it i love it but remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are in the description for you guys if you guys want to support me and patreon is not really your thing if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment down below really does help me with that youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i'm posting over here on the dapper channel follow me on all the social medias instagram twitch twitter and tiktok at dapper darius i'm ready to hop into this episode right now though tokyo avengers episode eight um rechange i almost forgot what it was called that's what happens when you get two into the oh my god oh my god oh and this guy is supposed to be the one to change the future are you serious I think that's a good, I don't know if it's specifically what he's trying to say, but that's a good way of saying it, especially with what's going to happen in the future. Whereas they are not focused on how their actions are affecting others and others are deeply affected by it, AKA his precious memories. And is also his precious memories of them killing Hinata in the future, you know, a coon in the future. It's very relatable right now. What he's going through. That's, I think that's why he's crying. Cause he's like, this may be my baseball bat from fourth grade, which is something, but it definitely will get worse and progress down the line. And it's just like, I feel him. They're just like, why are you so emotional? Why are you so serious about this? If only they knew. That's the thing, you know? Like, you will kill innocents. You will ruin lives. It is just... That whole, this wholesome emotional speech, this moment went down the drain. He had a piece of shit in his hair. I mean, you might have stopped them from fighting, though. That might have actually worked. Yep, that would be me. This is what I like to see right here. It was about Pa, right? Okay, good. Don't even bring it up. That's a way to not even get back into that fight again. I love it. It might be time to go back to the present to get an update on what happened. Ah, uh, see? <laughs> Fingers crossed. No, don't celebrate now. No. The moment you celebrate too early is the moment you realize you celebrated too early. What's going on? Ooh, okay. Festivals are um, super fun. Little date night with Hinata. 
I also can't get over how much I like Emma's outfit. I love, I don't know what those are called. If anyone in the comments can tell me what Emma's wearing, what those are called, I like those a lot. They're hella cute. Already to August 3rd. Crazy. Oh, kimonos. They're going traditional. I like it. <laughs> See, this is what I'm worried about. Oh, man. Yes. Okay. I definitely agree. You need a little treat, especially after what you've been through. But I don't know. I'm so nervous. Ken is so funny to me. <laughs> Cheer on your girl, Hinata. Come on. Hell yeah, they're wing women. I love how they're friends now. He is oblivious. Ken is so oblivious. <laughs> ah, don't do it like that. I know. <laughs> don't act like, oh, that's why she did that. <laughs> Technically, though, it wasn't him. Ooh, the shooting game. Ooh, challenge accepted. He's like, he's like, I'm gonna give every cent I have to this game. See, this is way more fair. I, I can't tell for certain. This is way fair than the gun games in my festivals. Maybe the accuracy on this is just super bad. Ooh. Oh, that's literally that's and it's probably weighted down to the bottom too. Okay, that's how this is a scam. All festival games are scammed. Yes. The more I think about it, the more it makes sense how his hair changed in the future because he uses gel to keep it up and stuff. You know, kids do that in high school and then don't do it later. Makes sense. Damn. That would be painful. This is this isn't their first kiss. Right? I know they're in middle school, so this would be a huge moment. I know he said in the future he's still a virgin, but he's kissed a girl, right? <sighs> That's how it always goes. <laughs> Why? Yeah, why? What's up? Why? Okay, what's the new intel? For what? What guys in the Mikey? F yeah. Yeah. I knew that. Like I knew you celebrated way too early, but. I respect it. <laughs> he, he's getting rid of his special moment with Hinata to go make sure that he saves Hinata in the future. It's worth it. I, I, I respect his resolve. That's definitely not Mikey. Mikey's that guy's way taller. Is that Kiyomasa? This bitch! It makes so much sense because Ken is the one. Oh no, you got. Kiyomasa-kun. <laughs> That's where I, I feel so bad. They duct taped him and left him there in the rain. Horrible.
Hinata gonna come save the day. This is one of those re-zero moments where our character has gone through the ringer. And he just wants to vent and scream, but he can't really say what's on his actual mind. Because, you know. He's weak. I, f I mean... <clears throat> That's a tough pill to swallow, and he I feel bad for him. But Hinata, to him, is like Rem to Subaru, you know? Like, oh, I love how the slow motion... Oh. That was the first kiss. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. You have your own you have your own power and your own strength. <sighs> he I'm saying, and when I say he not to, to him is how Rem is the Subaru, Rem is the best waifu in all of TV. So like that's an utmost compliment for me. He Hinata amazing. A1 girl. Anytime he needs to know. Anytime he needs to reaffirm his resolve, he not just always there to do it, and I appreciate her. I cannot believe Kiyomasa is back to being the villain. God damn. Yes. Ooh. I love his fit on the bike. Yes, come help us. Hey? What the fuck? That's a whole story in and of itself. We had to get shit in our hair and everything. God damn, I don't know who I'm... God damn it. Oh, I was not expecting this episode to go like this. I was really enjoying the festival, really enjoying the happy moments, really enjoying Hinata, Emma, Draken. I mean, that's a perfect little double date right there. You know, you got Oblivious, Draken, super the, the cool, the two girls who are best friends who are awesome. And then Takamichi, you can't go wrong. But I, I knew he was way too soon and in, in thinking he and celebrating and thinking he won. But it is August 3rd and... It is the day, which I need, I think they made a specific point to show the one Mobius guy who's who gave the knife to Kiyomasa and said, are you ready for this? And then it's kind of like Osuna who said, someone set this up. So I need to know more about, they showed his back, which is like, oh, okay. Cause maybe we saw his front. Maybe it would be Kisaki, right? Uh, is that his name? Kisaki, yeah. Maybe, I don't, I don't know, I'm curious, but he had shorter hair if I remember correctly, but it is raining, it could have been up, I'm trying to just theorize this in my head. Oh, and then they fucking tortured Takamichi again for a little bit, oh, that's just, man, that's just, <laughs> I feel bad for anything he goes through. Hinata, obviously there to save the day, just comes in super clutch, A1 girl, like I said. Mm, it's just very complicated. I under I completely understand both sides in terms of like Mikey's. Let's let's you know pay his bail, get him out of there, you know. But he, it was his decision, his resolve, like Draken said, to turn himself in, you know. Like, and I get pay him and pay and Pa go together like yin and yang. So I get why he'd be upset with that, obviously. But he is doing his own thing. Whereas Kiyomasa is, and their squad has his own ver personal vendetta against Draken as well. And they're, hmm, I'm so curious. And I'm pretty sure I have his name written down as Takashi. Yeah, Mitsuya. I have Mitsuya as well. So I need to make sure I have him notated down because Mitsuya, I love his design. He looks so dope. He really is. And he's only been there a couple of times, but he's been there for the important times. And he was like, bro, how did you even get them to stop? You're a, you're a legend for that. I respect that. I need to see him in action. I need to see him save Draken because Draken cannot die. 
These episodes were fire. I need to watch more. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post. Drink some water. Be safe. Tell someone you love them. Appreciate you guys. Have a great day, you guys.